on the road, in the air, on the water. Buckle up. Always wear a life jacket. Hi, I'm Rick Burnley, editor of Kayak Angler Magazine. And I'm here today with Chris from Daya with, with a brand new jigging reel. And uh, Chris, tell me, how does this reel fit in with the other line of uh, Daiwa reels? What makes it a jigging reel? And you know, what was the motivation behind creating this reel? So yeah, so I mean, like you said, Daiwa has a lot of other conventional reel options in our lineup that people are already using for jigging. But this is a true jigging reel. Now, the Saltigo light jigging or jigging reel has been out on the JDM market for some years now. Guys have been excited about it. There's some people that are even importing it to the U.S. on their own fruition. Those are Japanese uh, rods that are available in Japan. I mean, reels that are available in Japan. Yes. But now you're bringing them over to We're the States. finally yep. bringing it to the States. So now they can get it from Daiwa USA with the Daiwa USA five-year warranty uh, and service plan. We'll talk about that in a little while. But more importantly is that we have it here and it's a phenomenal jigging reel. What makes it unique to the jigging application are several critical features. So we'll start with some of the obvious ones. First and foremost, that oversized handle knob. Mm -hmm. So very comfortable in the hand, your thumb kind of rests just on top of there. And a lot of guys don't think about comfort when it comes to jigging, but it is paramount. It's a very exhaustive form of fishing and comfort can be really the difference between being able to work that jig right. properly to get the right action out of it. So that's number one right here is that oversized handle knob with that really ergonomical grip to it. Now, coming to the actual reel itself, we have some incredible technology that is new for any conventional reel, and that is the hyperdrive system. So the hyperdrive system is a set of four components throughout the construction. I'm gonna highlight two for sake of time here. One of my favorites is the what we're calling the hyper tough clutch. That is the engagement and disengagement of the clutch system to the actual spool. Mm -hmm. So it is rock solid, but even more importantly, what makes this a jigging reel is that we finally have an auto engaging clutch mechanism. Oh, look at that. Right? <laughs> Magic. A lot of guys have been looking for that for a long time. Huh. You know, our old Saltigas didn't have it, and that was something that people were looking for. It's incredibly important when you're jigging to be able to quickly engage that drive. Absolutely. When you're dropping 100, 200, 600, 800 feet down, sometimes you don't know whether you hit the bottom mm -hmm. or a fish snatched that bait on right. the way down. So being able to feel like when that bait is stopped and quickly engage it is critical to getting that hook set. Yep. So I really love that hyper tough auto engaging clutch design. The other component of hyperdrive that I think is paramount is the hyperdrive gearing. So the gearing on these models is cut in such a way that it allows for a three point contact between mm. the pinion and the drive gear teeth. Okay. Most reels will only maintain about a two-point contact system. So that three-point contact allows for a buttery, buttery smooth rotation. Mm -hmm. And I'm not kidding. It, it takes some time to get used to. When I first got this reel and was testing it out with some rockfish out in California before the season was happening for anything pelagic, but testing it, put it in gear, and I'm like, am I still in, I mean, really? am I yeah. still in free spool? Yeah. What's going on? But no, look down and sure enough, line is coming in. So buttery, buttery smooth. But more important than it being smooth. Smoothness is great. We like that. It helps aid in the sensitivity. But that three-point contact spreads the pressure I gotcha. further across those gears. So it's going to maintain a longer gear life, longer smoothness to those gears which I think is a really, really awesome added benefit yeah. along with the smoothness factor. Now we've already talked about the clutch system. What's really unique on this model is also a clicking drag mechanism. Okay. And that's a clicking drag that is always engaged. You can't turn it off, but, and again, you can hear that right there in the mic, hopefully. Right. Clicking drag, subtle, but there, right? Not obnoxiously loud, but it is kind of an alert system. I like that a lot for a couple of reasons on this model. This reel is designed to fish with 20, 30, maybe 40 pound braids. The idea with the jigging is to cut down on current impacts on your jig. Right, so those right. light, light braids are paramount. And the clicking mechanism for me 
act as more of like an alert system to say, hey, look, this fish is taking drag. Right. Let it play it out. Let me do what I need to do to prevent you from unbuttoning that fish. Uh, if you need to adjust my drags, you know, go ahead and increase the pressure there. But you don't need to thumb my spool. Right, right. Okay, don't, don't overexert the pressure. Listen to what the reel is telling you. The last awesome feature on this reel is on this side, which is a spool lock mechanism. So this is not a clicker. Not a clicker. This is not a clicker. <laughs> this is a spool lock. Don't miss that. Right. Don't, definitely don't want to mix those right, two right. things up. Because what it does is it, once you engage it, it locks the spool from huh. putting out any line. It removes the drag and it engages a dog that locks it in place. Why is that important? It's important for your safety, the angler's safety, as well as the reel's safety. A lot of guys, when they get hung up on the bottom, which is going to happen when you're jigging, you know, you got hooks up top, hooks on bottom. It's going to be a yard sale out right. there some days. But what it does, a lot of guys will try to thumb their spool down and try to pop it like that or put it in gear and try to backpedal on their kayak right, right, to pop right. themselves out, you know. And that can cause damage from the spool actually tweaking mm -hmm. against the gearing inside of the reel. So you can cause damage to your gears doing it that way. With the spool lock, it prevents that from happening. Right. Those dogs engage the spool and allow you to pop it out, not only preventing you from burning your thumb potentially, right. but also protecting the reel's gears. So some really incredible technology packed into this little powerhouse. And it's a lot of stuff that as you're talking, I'm thinking, why hasn't somebody thought of this stuff before? You know, it's like stuff we've always needed that now this reel has, I'm uh, really excited about it. When will it be available? So it's gonna be available a little bit later this fall, I'm thinking late fall arrivals. And people can find out more information about these reels and more? More information at diawa.us. Check out our new product showcase. Excellent, thank you.